One door leads to darkness, where the other door leads to water. Which one will you choose? Hi guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Today I'm in my friend's world and I'm just simply building this uh, mini Skyland. Before I show you the tutorial, I'll just show you what I did here real quick. It was pretty cool. I ended up making four different biomes on this. I wanted to see if I still had it in me to build something great. I also would like to give a shout out to King Fluff, I believe your name is, and DC MM Craft. Just shout outs, just because. I needed to do that and I kept forgetting and I'm very sorry for that. So there's your shout out. King Fluff! Fluffy! <laughs> Sir! Okay, that's the shouting out of your name. There you go, guys. Right, I've nearly done my little biome thing here. You can see here I've got a water version over here. And over here I've got a desert and a rock version over here. And it's starting to look Pretty psychedelic. I like it very much. Well, that that's enough for this. So in a moment, um, I'm going to go back to my world and I'm going to show you how to build this epic, compact lava door. Hi, I'm back in my world. Happy to meet me, guys. Come back down and I'll show you my tutorial section in my world. We're nearly there, guys. All right. So this is my lava door. It is very compact. It's three by three, like a square. It's very, very easy and low on resource. It needs, all you need is like one, two buttons for either side, one piston, one bucket of lava, and a block of choice. That's it, guys. Very simple. If I was to be trolled, you could be trolled. Look at this. I press the button once thinking I can get through, but no. So I think, okay, I'll press it twice to get through. But no, you can't get through, ever. But there is a way. The password is five seconds of spamming that button. So really what you need to do is count to five and hold onto the button. One, two, three, four, seventeen. And then you can go straight through without being harmed or scratched whatsoever, guys. You can do the same thing on the other side and count to five. And you can safely make passage through without dying or being burned. I've used pressure plates up here to stop the roof from burning. If you're in survival, you might want to use cobblestone or something that doesn't burn. You can also replace the lava with water for a more friendlier version of protection from mobs that spawn on the outside. But you still can let your friends in. This is pretty epic, guys. I really like how simple this is. I know the button is in a weird spot, but this is to keep it simple. So that when it's pressed from either side, it will activate the very same piston, allowing flow. So again, what we need is a regular block of choice. You do not need a redstone torch. I don't know why I grabbed that. You do, however, need two buttons. You will need one piston and one bucket of lava. No redstone. Okay, so first we want to build the shape of our room. You can build it as big or as small as you, as you actually want to do. But... Being compact is what I like to do. So here we go. Here's our entrance. Once you get through there, you want to put a piston facing this way. No. It's getting dark. Let's just uh, put it on day. There we go. All right. So you put the piston facing this way. And now when you go under here, I was going to put a torch there, guys. But it just, yeah, it was a waste. I didn't need that. All I had to do was move the button up higher. So I'm going to get rid of that button actually. So yeah, that's all I'm going to have to do. So let's go back through on this side and do the same thing. And put a hole in the center. Unfortunately, this is the only way to stop massive lava flow. But again, you don't need to do that. You can have lava to flow everywhere if you wish. It doesn't really matter. Because the button's up nice and high and it's not going to get burnt. But I like it to look pretty flat, so... Let's whack the button up here on the piston side behind this block. And when I press it, it will open the piston for one moment, blocking the path for only a moment. And that's perfect for what we want to do. 
let's go back through here and put another button on the exact opposite whoops, side and it will do the exact same thing. This is basic mechanics of this method. So let's... Now we can actually fill up the sides and that's why I didn't want to have to use that torch because I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm going to build up around here one block so I can put the lava source block or water block right here. That is the only difference between them. So the water is good for keeping mobs out and allowing yourself quick entry, but the lava is good for keeping people out and trolling them if they try to get in. So it has multi-purposes. So here we go with the lava. I press this, spam it for five seconds, and I'm totally free to walk through. Perfect timing. Let's try it again in survival to double check. Let's make sure this is legit or this video will not be going up. And that would kind of suck. So let's go through here. And I'm alive. Excellent, guys. This is freaking epic. And it is pretty, pretty, pretty compact. So there you go, guys. You got your water door and your lava door. And I'm Sarah from 190. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. It really does help my channel grow. It helps me wake up in the morning and actually get out of bed. So thanks for watching, guys.